the law tonight. He is behind bars, accused of falsely arresting a man because he's black. Fox 5's Nicole Johnson live in downtown Brooklyn with that story. Good evening, Nicole. Good evening, Gary. This officer is still behind bars because he did not make bail. He is in protective custody tonight. Federal investigators started looking at Officer Michael Derigani for other reasons. But after a wiretap, they allegedly found something else, something ugly. In a recorded conversation with a friend, NYPD officer Michael Derigati allegedly said, I fried another N-word. The female friend said, what? Derigati, another N-word fried. No big deal. The female friend laughs. According to federal prosecutors, the eight-year police veteran was referring to a black man he arrested during stop and frisk. Derigati allegedly used racial slurs and lied on a police report saying the black man resisted arrest. He also allegedly trumped up charges. Civil rights attorney Frederick Brewington tells us this shows the NYPD could have a problem. The complainant in resisting arrest flailed his hands and his arms. That terminology was seen over and over. And it seems as though that's something that, that's given as instruction on how you write these reports. Well, clearly, not every police re uh, report should have flailing their arms and legs in because that's part of a particular vocabulary. Unfortunately, in this situation, when they did find out that it was, I got the allegation that it was false, they uh, were able to follow up. Today, Derigati's wife and attorney had no comment leaving federal court in Brooklyn. But in a statement, the NYPD said Derigati was arrested and suspended today in the wake of an NYPD Internal Affairs Bureau investigation that began in January. Initially looking into allegations that Derigati was associating with a drug dealer. It wasn't until they were several months into these initial investigations that IAB detective heard Derigati referring to the false arrest and widened their Probe. I'm saddened by the fact that we really have to keep facing this over and over again, but I'm not surprised. Derigati also faces other charges, including extortion and insurance fraud. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years in prison. We're live in downtown Brooklyn. Nicole Johnson, Fox 5 News. Back